Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd give you a quick peek at my room. And this is just really going to be a big, huge panoramic or pan view of my room. So this is the head of my bed. And I apologize ahead of time. You have to understand, I have a whole lot of stuff in this room. This is kind of my man cave. But because I snore and I used to work nights and my wife does not like snorers and she worked days, um, we had different schedules. So what we ended up doing was learning to sleep in different rooms and that worked out really well for us um, and because this is my room where I sleep I ended up just gathering all my stuff up in here so as you can see I have a bunch of 31 inch tall Star Wars there's a stormtrooper here by the bed uh, that's the Grand Inquisitor that's a custom one that I made the blue uh, it's a 302nd I think it's 302nd, 342nd, I don't know. It's uh, Ahsoka's squadron. There's a red one, it's a Corellian, or Coruscant, sorry. There's the Uto Ut Utapan, I can't ever say it. And that's Anakin's squadron. There's Yoda and R2. There's a, old, a little Chewbacca. It's hard to see, but down there is a little mouse droid. And then on the shelves, you got a um, big BB-8 and a bunch of astromax with artwork you've got some uh rogue one no solo story that's a shore trooper and then those two are uh the commander for the tank and the uh driver or the gunner for the tank and the tank is right here that's the the uh imperial tank out of a solo story or rogue one i think it was rogue one i apologize these are some Galactic Heroes toys. Um, those shelves are a little full. This shelf down here is full. It's got just a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, that's the uh, X-Wing um, toys. Uh, the Ghost and the Phantom Shuttle. And then there's the big Phantom Shuttle. And then at the very top you see some TIE Interceptors. A TIE Bomber. Vader's TIE. There's some Galactic Heroes AT-ATs and some uh, Stormtroopers. And below is more kind of just a shelf of miscellaneous Star Wars. I have, uh, you see he's in primer. It's because for the longest time I was letting him dry. And it, it's uh, humid here in Georgia, so the paint doesn't want to dry for, all, it takes a while. <clears throat> this one here, I'm creating um, a Grand Inquisitor, but I'm going to make him into the... Uh, uh, Temple Guard and then I've got a bunch of different Star Wars guys there and those are mostly the Rebels uh, from Star Wars Rebels this is my G.I. Joe shelf and some uh, so these are right over here are some uh, Transformers just two G.I. Joe vehicles a random military vehicle G.I. Joe vehicles in the middle here some a bunch of um, R2 units and Astromex really kind of rare uh, Star Wars uh, Mandalorian shuttle, Iron Giant, and a G.I. Joe cannon, some B-Wings, some uh, ATDPs, another ATDP, there's an Imperial shuttle, uh, some Lego clocks, some Boba Fett, Vader, and two, Darth or two Stormtroopers. There's my Hulk Buster that I custom made out of a, it's not Hulk Buster, that's R2-D2 Buster. Ha ha ha, it's R2-D2. In a, on a Hulkbuster body. Um, some uh, Star Wars Rebels TIE Fighters. <clears throat> These are some different, uh, just different toys I have. Uh, this is a Chewbacca. There's a, obviously a U-Wing and a TIE. Um, oh, I don't remember what that one's called. And then uh, Clone Wars era bomber. Up at the top, another Clone Wars era bomber, a whole bunch of Star Wars books. There is a um, sand crawler and a little piggy bank, and then a bunch of miscellaneous things. On this shelf over here is a couple Star Wars Rebels, um, Hera, A Wings. There's a Rattler, that's the G.I. Joe, the X 38, I think. There's the Cobra, it's the uh, G.I. Joe, I don't remember what it's called. 
There's some miscellaneous helicopters on the top, some giant X-Wings in the window, another couple miscellaneous Star Wars toys. There's a Halo, uh, 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 I can't remember what it's called, but it's a, tank, a truck, a uh, four-wheel drive. I want to say Weasel, but it's not Weasel. Um, there's a couple more G.I. Joe toys, a custom Harris uh, A-Wing, Hiss tank, and a miscellaneous SWAT toy. 3D printed, um, this right here is a 3D printed um, Razor Crest. Two G.I. Joe planes. One is the uh, Crimson, they think they're the Crimson Guard, Crimson something or other. One is the G.I. Joe and one is the Cobra version. This is my work station. Got a whole bunch of stuff there. I'm repairing a toy there. I've got a couple miscellaneous ones. That's a custom um, TIE fighter, uh, mining guild TIE. A couple ATTBs looking at us. There's my um, uh, my uh, BB-8. Uh, and that clock is off right now. I actually got to put new batteries in. I just noticed it today. Those are two of the large scale X-Wings. There's the solo story, Millennium Falcon, the large Millennium Falcon, miscellaneous, uh, not first order, new, uh, re resistance A-Wings, old school A-Wings, some are customized, so like a, that green one, custom, one of these is going to be custom uh, to like Ralph McQuarrie's and the other one's going to be like more of a black and red, this one I painted custom, those two, three are all original, uh, some Y-Wings, there's two, there's the original Slave One and a newer version Slave One. There's a helicopter that's going to eventually look like Airwolf. A couple of wolves that I'm going to make into Loth Wolves. There's uh, Audrey Two. <clears throat> there's an R2 unit that I fixed up. Uh, this X-Wing hangs right up there in that missing spot on the wall. And then I have a couple originals and a couple uh, custom X-Wings that I've built, a couple little Y bombers and a, a little uh, Slave One, some artwork, uh, more artwork, there's uh, Spidey and uh, Frozone, there's the Toy Story guys and Iron Man, some G.I. Joe all through here, this is all my G.I. Joe, well, not all of them, but a good portion of them, there's some Disney uh, princess, uh, Star Wars princesses. There is on the very top my snow speeders going across and an original TIE fighter. And then over here is a busted up. I got it for like a dollar at Goodwill. Busted up uh, Hasbro Galactic Hero type uh, Fisher Price. It's Fisher Price. It's not even Galactic Heroes. It's a uh, AT AT. And then uh, there's Vader and a, a Stormtrooper. Some Imperial tanks. A whole bunch of miscellaneous. There's some Halo guys. I love Halo too. There's some big wing. There's a big wing X-wing or Tie Fighter. I'm sorry, with uh, a Tie Fighter pilot. And then there's some Halo on the left, right, and in, in front of. That's water. Just a big gallon of water. I like to drink water a lot. My glasses. Um, there's two Halo uh, Halloween masks. I like to hang those on the wall. And then uh, we are back to where we began. So there you are. You got a quick tour of the Star Wars Man Cave. If there's anything you want to see up close, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just give me a comment about what you'd like to see up close and I will happily bring it down and do a quick show video of it. Some of these you've seen, some of these you haven't. If you check out my videos, you'll see different ones. Um, I'll give you a hint on what I'm working on next. I have one of those, an extra one of those coming. I got it for stupid cheap, $10, and I'm going to be modifying it. I wonder what it could be. If you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you're giggling right now, like a happy little kid. All right, well, I'll let you be for now. I thank you. Uh, oh, look, there's Buzz. Uh, it, oh, look on the wall there. I forgot I hung those two today. So that's Captain America, and there's a lightsaber. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing uh, some of your comments in the comment section. Oh wait, I got a little bit more over here. I know it's a lot of stuff, but this is my custom uh, um, ARC 170. Uh, that's a custom Y-Wing I'm building. 
uh, custom B-Wing, and then you can't see it, but right under here is part of a custom build for a uh, Blade Wing. That's the first one, the very first B-Wing that you see in Star Wars Rebels. All right, well, there you are. Like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to seeing something in the comment section. Thank you.